All right, more Layton. We're back with more Layton. Uh, it, it's all I know at this point. I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I had other things I want to do, but like, in terms of games, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Layton, I guess. Layton this, Layton that. Fucking, I. Mm. When I'm, when I'm gone, and when. Professor Layton, the retrospective, is complete. Where will I move on? What will I do after that point in my life? I don't know. But we're just gonna keep playing this fucking game today. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could go back to that Platinum retrospective, but I'm not feeling that. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. It's fine. Those are tomorrow's worries for tomorrow's parry, I guess. Let's just... Let's just fucking get into it, I don't know. Having met up with future Luke, Leighton and the others form a plan to get into Chinatown. Once they got past the guards at the gate, their aim is to sneak into future Leighton's base. Yeah, but first we gotta first we gotta eavesdrop on these little clowns. Well big clowns, I guess. You're supposed to be on god duty, you clown! <laughs> oh hey. What, what do you know? I, I call them clowns, he calls them clowns. It all works out. Stop slacking off! I, I wasn't slacking off, Bostro. I was just... Ah, you know, the only thing I hate more than a loafer is a loafer who makes excuses! But... But... There ain't no buts about it! That is what stops you moving up in this organization. You know what? You'll finish it! The family don't need clowns like you! Get lost! No, oh, come on, Bostro. Don't kick me out. I ain't got nowhere to go. There! Did you hear that? Yes, I heard get lost loud and clear. What about Haha -ha Burb? Did he manage to pick it up? Did you hear what the big man said, Haha -ha Burb? Uh, get, uh, get lost! Get lost! It's uncanny how much he sounds like Bostro. A performance like that is sure to fool those two guards at the gate. Let's head to Chinatown! Alright. Let's go. Isn't isn't Chinatown unless I'm misremembering, isn't Chinatown like either late mid game or end game? Or no wait, no 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 no. There's still there's still a lot yeah, no, it's late mid game. It's nowhere near end, end game just yet. <laughs> Do you know the statue, Luke? Hmm? Oh, the one with the man that looks like the professor? Of yeah. Fuck. Lines skipped. Ugh. Seeing it just now got me thinking about, you know, the future. One thing in particular occurred to me. You know how everything is going to turn out. I mean, you're me, so you already went through the scenario ten years ago, didn't you? Well, in a way, yes, but I can't tell you what's going to happen. You having that knowledge could alter the course of history, you see. Some of the things that are supposed to happen might not happen at all. Time travel has changed the way events unfold here. And look at the mess it's made. We wouldn't want to add to that chaos, would we? I never really thought about it that way. What's more, knowing about your future self could actually change who you become. And just to complicate things further, it's probably worth knowing that technically you aren't me. I'm not? Then who am I? That's a tough question. The fact that we've met has changed things for both of us. Only the past is certain. Therefore, I was you in the past, but you may not be me in the future. Do you see? I, uh, I think I do, but time travel is really complicated. Yeah, you're telling me. Yet it's always such a such a plot point in every not every game, but a lot of games. Enough games for me to make funny uh, funny titles in every uh, every stream. Anyway, hey you. All men face chores in life. It's perseverance in spite of them that's the mark of a real man. When faced with a dilemma, a real man knows how to deal with it gracefully. You have what it takes to sort out this mess of a puzzle. Sure. I can try. Four siblings have inherited a large plot of land. They've each built a house in their favorite spot without thinking about how, without thinking about how best to divide up the rest. They decide that the fairest solution is to split the land into four identical six square portions, with each one contain, with each one containing one house. Each portion must touch, but not contain the well in the center. Which sibling's property will end up containing the star? Circle house A, B, C, or D to submit. I mean, and then submit. Oh, god, oh fucking. Ah. 
Four identical six square portions. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Hmm. I guess I could try like that. Oh god, I hope it doesn't mean like identical shape, because I don't think that's possible like this. Of course that's what it means, Perry. You, 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 you idiot. God. Hmm. Hope it just means identical in space. Let's give it some thought, eh? Eh? Let's, let's actually give it some. Let's actually give it a bit, bit of, bit of, bit of fucking uh, brain, <laughs> bit of brain power. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do it like. I mean, A would definitely be it like that, but then how would you get the others without the well? Like this, I assume, and then you go that way. And then, oh. Oh yeah, that works. That works, and then, yeah, that means A. A is the one, right? Tell me I'm right, prove me wrong, you can't. My right. logic is infallible, that's what I thought. Yeah, mm-hmm. Well, that's settled. All right, good. Splendid work. Go to show that I, analytical thinking is the key to impressing. Uh, I mean, impressing people. Yeah, yeah. Buzz off, layman. Oh god, this guy's. He have a puzzle too. Oh no! Why did I click him? Oh, so bored. So very, very bored. Same old story, eh? Could you blame me? Love's not exactly a bed of roses. I don't have anyone to talk to. It's not sad though. The only thing worse than being bored is being sad. Well, I suppose so. You know, if you want something to talk to, I'd be happy to listen. That's the to you. I'll bet you'll grow up to be a nice fella. Thanks for the offer, little chappy. Feel better already. How about I share one of my puzzles with you by way of thanks? Yes, please. I love a good puzzle. Okay, now dig is my game. See, it's what I do. I thought of this one at work one day. Okie dokie. Hmm. Create a tunnel that leads from the entrance to the exit, going through every segment on the way. Touch a tile between a straight... To switch between a straight and curved segment. Touch the edge of a tile and slide it in a circle to rotate it. Okay. Bonk. The green tiles are in the correct positions. Right, so we need to... Hmm. Oh. No. Hold on. Touch the edge of a tile, right. Whoop. Like that. Oop. Come on. Ah, this one's a bit finicky. Jeez. Okay. Has to go through every little bit. Oop! Wait! Oh! Ah! I know the answer. I just gotta gotta go about getting it right. Yerp! Boop! There we go. Here's my answer. Eh eh eh! Got him. Puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Crikey! That was a project and a half. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, you're a swat little chap, aren't you? you? Come back and see me again sometime, yeah? Picture book two. Boy! Alright, let's get out of here. Two China to. Well, wait, do you have a. Pu oh, wait. Oh, what do you see? What do you see, boy? Oh, a hint coin. You're already finding them for me. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't care if you don't have a puzzle, rich man. Get out of here. I'll eat your fucking liver. Okay, may maybe I won't. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. I thought I'd never see him again now. No, I knew. <laughs> Salutations, my amigo. I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. Hello there, Pavel. Fancy meeting you here. Where are you trying to get to this time? I read a magnifique article about the underground caverns of Derwent and decided to come and see them. 
Ah yes, I've done some research into these caverns myself. They're said to exist under many of the world's greatest cities. Hi, exactamente. I was on my way to discover the subterranean ruins of Rome when I got lost. Wait, you were on your way to Rome and ended up here? Ja, the road of a traveler is long and winding. Nevertheless, I'm sure I'm heading the right way. Seeing as how we bumped into each other like this, though, how about a puzzle pour la route? Sure. Why not? Lunar Leapfrog. Oh, no, I remember the frog puzzles. Oh. Oh, God. Six frogs are sitting on logs. Get them hopping around so that each frog is on a log with a ribbon that matches its color. Here are three rules you need to follow. Frogs can hop over to any empty log. They can hop. They can leap over an adjacent frog, but they can't leap over two at a time. Oh, fuck. Well... I'll get there eventually. Actually, this one's not too hard. You just need to shift them all over, like, a couple, and then you got it. Oh, wait, fuck. Okay, no. No, it's still not that hard. All right, there we go. Got him. Here's my Funny little frog, fellas. Phew. That's a relief. Where have they gone? They must be preparing for the frog capella. Damn. Okay, they just left me. I beat, the, I, I helped them with their puzzle and they just abandoned me. Wow, okay. Magnifique, with that solved, I'm ready to return to my travels. Arrivederci and happy travels wherever you go. I've never met anyone as good at getting lost as you. How did you even make it here to begin with? Well, that's, uh, that's his problem. We don't need to worry about him. He's fine, he knows how to do it. It's okay. All right, Luke, this is our chance. Gosh, my heart is pounding. Just relax. All we have to do is stay out of sight and let Haha -ha Burb work his magic. Okay. Ugh, this post is the pits. I can't wait to clock off so I can get my laughing gear around the hot meal. Mm, sounds good, bruv. What I wouldn't give for a pipe and hot pastry with some mushroom gravy. But hey, keep it down. Bostro Ted hides if he hears us talking food on the job. <laughs> so all he does is watch us to see if we mess up. What a runner to have as a boss. All right, haha, -ha Bab, do your thing. Haha, -ha Bab, you're on. Get lost, get lost. Uh, did you hear that, bruv? It was Bostro. Yeah, he told me to get lost. Or was he talking to you? I think you meant both of us. I think you're right. Yeah, I, I, Bostro. You need to tell us twice. We'll get lost immediately. Nice work, haha, -ha Bab. Man, my bird is out of practice. It sounds like it's dying. Excellent. I think we can finally get into Chinatown now. It's all thanks to our friend Haha -ha Burb. Get lost! Get lost! Um, you can stop saying that now, Haha -ha Burb. Funny little, funny little bird fella. What's this device that's stuck to the door? Oh no, that's a puzzle counter. Oh no! Why oh no? These things count how many puzzles you've solved. The door will only be open for people who have solved the required number of puzzles. Here, have a look at the display on the front of the machine. It says 50. You've got at least 50 puzzles on your belt, I hope. I don't know, but I can't wait to try out the machine. The future's just full of fancy gadgets. Beep, puzzle count confirmed. Access granted. We were always worried for a second, but it looks like we can go through. All right, let's go. Let's head in. Your future self is just down this road. Don't you find it a bit unnerving? It's quite a peculiar sensation, I must admit. Yes, quite. I still can't believe there's another Professor Layton running around. Two of them. I assure Two of them. the man is real. You'll see soon enough. 
Oh lord, but first we got a whole town to go through and a whole bunch of people to talk to talk with. Oh god. Give me more coins, yeah! Okay. Boing! Hello there. Do you live in Chinatown? Could you tell us a little bit about the area? Well, listen to yourself, young man. Like all sentient beings, we exist both everywhere and nowhere. Well, that's very nice. Now, if what you really want was to ask me where my physical body resides, I'll tell you. I do indeed live in Chinatown. Here you can find exotic goods and rare wonders from all over the world. But these things don't interest me. Material objects are mere flecks of dust on the universe's canvas. Ugh, something tells me I picked the wrong person to ask for directions. Well, you just started making your way in this world, young one. For you, many of life's greatest puzzles remain unsolved. This one, for example. Oh god. One of these students broke a window, so you ask each of them who did it in order. A. I didn't do it. B. A is telling the truth. C. D is lying. D. It certainly wasn't me. The one whose story sounds fishy is the culprit. Who is it? Hmm. Oh boy, it's time for another... It's time for another game of assumptions. <laughs> oh, golly, oh gee, oh boy. Hmm. You ask each of them who did it in or... Wait. How does C know D is lying if he was asked before D? That's, that's, uh, hmm. Hmm. You think? Here's my answer. No he wasn't, he wasn't thinking. That was the thing. C broke the window. He said that D was lying even though D hadn't spoken yet. It doesn't get any fishier than that. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Seek the answers to your own questions. That is the root of individuality. Only by doing this will you find the true value to be had in the infinite moment we call the present. Um, thanks for the compliment, but I have to go now. Bye! And what about you? Now, yeah, good day, Whippersnappers. Tell me, ever stop to admire this marvelous arch? It's constructed to welcome lucky spirits into the area. It certainly is a breathtaking piece of art. I take it you're familiar with this part of the city. Yeah, you in Chinatown? You could say I know a thing or two about the area, I suppose. As the name suggests, it's full of restaurants and shops selling goods from Asia. One thing most people don't know is that the buildings here aren't that old, despite their appearance. I've also heard that the family is headquarters in this area. Yeah, whoa there! Keep your voice down, will you? In fact, it might be common knowledge, but it's not the kind of thing you talk about in public. What the professor wants to know is if you can tell us how to get there. Oh, oh, oh you don't mince your words, do you, boy? I admire that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you solve my puzzle, I'll point out the family's headquarters for you. Oh boy, oh golly gee, oh man. When counting on his fingers, this eccentric man counts in the order you see in the picture above, below, whatever. After he's counted from 1 to 5, he returns to his thumb and goes on counting in the same order, starting with 6. If he continued counting in this way, which, figure, which finger would he land on when he got to 763? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. Do I have to do I actually have to start counting it out or or, God, I'm, I'm trying to do the math, but I can't. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess if we're using the finger solution here, it's always, get, it's always going to be, like... This one's, like, the one that then, like, it always ends with the last, like, digit, I suppose. So I guess, I guess, in a sense, it would be this. Let's see if I've got this right. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like that. Man, my Choose brain is still, my like brain is still tired, soul. and unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna get any better or worse. It's just gonna stay this way. That's right, he'll land on his little finger. No matter how high the number he counts to, each number in the ones column will always land on the same finger. When the column contains a three or eight, he always ends up lend that. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, you made short work of that puzzle, so here's your reward. See that tall building? And the one over there? That's the one, it's called the Towering Pagoda, and it's the family's base of operations. The person in charge is said to be more monster than man. He's got a hat just like yours. But off of that unpleasant topic. Enjoy your time in Chinatown. Good day. Alright then, let's go to the pagoda, but first... What about this little area over here? Bing. Any more coins? Yeah, three! Oh, banana! Oh, banana! Look at that! There's another banana skin lying on the ground! Someone around here has a taste for bananas and a version to bins. Not to worry, Professor! I'll pick it up! We can go for its Luke. What is it, Professor? I've just thought of another banana skin puzzle. Oh boy. These ones are fun. These ones are fine. Whoop. Just gotta figure out the route. I think I got it. Yeah, got him. Hmm. How about this? Nice. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Sweet and delicious, most people are used to eating the common Cavendish bananas raw, straight after peeling them. In the tropics, however, where most of the world's bananas are produced, there are, man there are many less sweet varieties that are often used in cooking. Okay. Interesting little facts. Whoever left this banana skin here could do with learning a few manners. I'm just glad we found it before someone slipped on it. Yeah, what's going on in here, though? What are you doing out here and stuff? Boing! You got... Oh, you got books. You got... Coins, I assume. Any more of them? Yeah, there we go. I'm a coin-finding expert now. We're in, we're, in my, we're in my domain. Welcome to Maya's Maya's of Books! You certainly aren't exaggerating. The selection here is simply astounding. If there's something that catches your eye, feel free to flip through it. A mission is to serve our fellow book lovers. Wonderful. A literature fiend like myself loves nothing more than browsing a good bookshop. If you love literature and you've come to the right place, please take your time and look around. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, I, you know, there's not much around that we can actually uh, click in terms of puzzles, I think. So I guess we'll just leave. Could have sworn there was something down here. I mean, there is on the map, but I don't know if there's anything we can go to there. Oh well, that's fine. Look at all these shops! It smells like something amazing is cooking in one of them. I see you've taken a liking to the area. Let's try chatting to a few of the locals. Okay. Okay, fine, I'll talk and stop looking for coins, God. Hello there, young lady. Oh, hello there, sir! Hiya! And hiya to you too! Oh, wasn't that wonderful? I do enjoy a nice round of greetings, don't you? Well, you always get a proper greeting from us. That's what gentlemen do. Oh, the world would be a nicer place if more people were like you too. People around here are so... What's the word? Uncouth? That's what Mother calls Londoners. Oh, you live around here? I do! Father moved out here and brought Mother and me along, but... I think the move was a rather terrible idea. Father hardly ever comes home these days and is putting Mother in a terrible mood. What kind of work is he doing that keeps him there all the time? I have no idea. All I know is I'm never going to become a mechanical engineer or marry one. So your father's an engineer? That's right. Father moved this year after somebody bought out his old company. Isn't that amazing? Can you imagine buying an entire company? You'd have to be rich. You certainly would. You know, father told me a great puzzle about a rich man once. Oh boy, now we get to we get to puzzling that 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 puzzle. An antique shop, and it added an antique shop, a rich man's looking at flower vases with portraits painted on them. Wow, the profile of the big belly looks just like me. I'll take this one. The vases only have faces painted on them, though. Which vase did the man choose? Uh, hmm. Probably B or C. If I had to bargain a guess, I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the, uh, I don't think that's the, uh, phrase. But, you know. <laughs> Uh, 
Unless, of course, it is A because it's uh, got it's got the thing on its uh, the beard, and it's got the. If you flip it over, it would be the same. Yeah, sure. Why not? Go with that. This one's as good as solved. Phew! That's a relief. All right, turn it upside down. Look at the contours. They fit the man's profile perfectly. Oh, I didn't even think of it like that. Huh? Okay. Oh, you got it! Jolly good! Thank you! As an aspiring gentleman, I do my best to solve any puzzle that comes my way. Hey, and we got another bird request. Maybe I should do that right now, but I don't want to just yet. Maybe after we get a couple more. <laughs> What's up, fellas? You don't happen to know anything about the man who owns a towering pagoda, do you? <laughs> of course I do, mate! Everyone does! That fella's bad news. Proper bad. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, you know, he's got a bunch of thugs working for him, and they're like, Thugs, thugs, if you know what I mean. That means their boss has got to be a real piece of work. I see. His gang's got the whole area scared. Most people don't go out much. Maybe that's why his puzzles are so that's Maybe that's why puzzles are so popular. Here's one of the latest hits. Funny shapes. Aw, hell yeah. My favorite kind of shape. The young student has drawn five shapes on the blackboard, but one of them is not quite right. Circle of shape that doesn't belong. I think I remember this one, because like I'm seeing all the numbers in these, and I'm thinking, right, I don't think it's this one. I don't think it's, what, if I'm remembering correctly, it was this one. <laughs> not not that I want to just breeze through the puzzle, but you know, I'm just, <laughs> I just remember it, so, you know, bonk. Let's see if I've got this right. Few things satisfy like, like, like a puzzle solved. Other ships are made up of threes, four fours, five fives, and seven sixes. This one is made up of neither six sixes or nine nines. Ah, right. That was how that one went. Yeah, <laughs> good skills, mate. By the way, I'd stay away from the Italian Pagoda if I were you. Yeah, well, we got business there, unfortunately. Oh, no. More buildings to enter. Welp. Guess we're going in here. <gasps> Yo, Mafia Man. W whoa. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. You scared the living daylights out of me. Can't a man loaf in peace no more. Oh man, I was hoping for three and one. Oh well. Come on, where's the last one? There it is. Nice. Welcome to Pepper's Noodle Palace. I'm Pepper, and if you're in the mood for tasty treats, you've come to the right place. That sounds delightful, Pepper, but what we're actually hungry for is answers. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? I'm up to my ears in prep work here. Why not order something? We can talk while you eat. All right, what do you recommend? We put a London twist on traditional Chinese food. Wow, what does that involve? All sorts, fish and chip suey, spotted dim sum, and our specialty, jelly deal noodle soup. Oh, and the special today is pork noodle soup. We even made a puzzle about it. Oh, really? Let me see that shit. Oh, okay. Bowls of plain noodles and pork noodles are lined up in a row at the counter. With a minimum of with the minimum of fuss, line up the bowls that the bowls of plain noodles and pork noodles alternate along the counter. What's the lowest number of moves it takes to accomplish this task? Note that in this puzzle, simply switching the places of two bowls counts as two moves. Oh god, oh fuck. That's how it be, eh? That's how it fucking be? Okay. Wait, I remember this one too, it's one. You just move the you move the front one to the back and it's just yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's How funny. This? Phew, that's a relief. All right, that's right. Don't switch the bowls around. Just move one. The chef in the illustration probably got angry at his colleague because he spent too long over the puzzle and the noodles got cold. Man, sucks to be him then. Burp, burp. So what'll it be, gents? You know, that puzzle's put me in the mood for pork noodle soup. Have a bowl of that, please. As will I. Right up, just one sec. Here you are. Now, what did you want to ask? I used to live in London about 10 years ago, but I don't remember this part of the city. Is this area a new development? That's a good question. I don't really know. I only opened here a little while ago, actually. An investor told me this area is ripe for a new restaurant, so I took the plunge and set up shop. Interesting. Well, thank you for your time and the recommendations. Professor's new soup is amazing! Hurry and eat it before it gets cold! Unfortunately, there's no time to eat. We gotta get schmoovin! What else is around? These characters look like something out of a puzzle to me. Uh, Professor, that's Japanese! <laughs> 
Jesus. What an unusual building. It's like it has a little family of roofs. Yes, this style of architecture became popular after your time. So that's why it seems so strange to me. You know, your comments about the roofs being like a family reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. Would you like to try it? Do you even need to ask? All right, sure. Let's give it a little. Let's give it a little. Uh, give it a give it a little working. I don't know. Ten close brothers and sisters live together. Now, Luke, let's imagine that you're the eighth child. The oldest daughter is the second son's younger sister, and the third son's older sister. The fourth son is the second daughter's older brother, and the oldest daughter's younger brother. There are no boys in between the third and fourth daughters. Is the third child from the bottom a boy or a girl? I can't tell the answer just from this. Let's tell Luke the answer in secret. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's a 50-50 chance. I'm not going to waste my time working all that out. Uh, B, let's try it. Here's my answer. Ha! <laughs> Got him. I Fuck doing the work. I'm not in the... I'm, I'm not feeling like doing the work on that. <laughs> That's right, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Luke's sprite profile just in the middle of all these faces. <laughs> so at the beginning, Luke. Let's imagine that you're the eighth child. My question was asking about the third child from the bottom, or in other words, the eighth oldest child. The eighth child was you, Luke, and I know better than anyone that you're a boy. Ah, uh, okay, I could've just thought about it like that as well, I guess. Wonderful! Of course, I expected nothing less from myself. <laughs> Nor should you! No puzzles to match for Professor Layton's apprentice, after all! Alright, let's talk to the- wait. Is there anything else I can do first? I guess I can activate the, uh, I can activate the train. I can go over here to the left. Can I click this? No, nothing? Okay. Boing. Some people have no respect for others. What seems to be the matter? Hey, just look at this wall of mine. Someone has splodged paint all over it. So a little miscreant who did it is only having a laugh. But I'm the one who has to clean it up. Hmm, the paint's completely dry. Looks like it would be really hard to strip it off. I suppose I just have to paint over this mess. Well, we're on the subject of painting, I might as well ask. You ever heard of this puzzle? Oh boy, wall paint problem. This old brick wall is a... Unusual design. Five different shades have been painted on a white background as shown. Just by looking at the picture, you should be able to tell which color of paint was used the most. So which color was it? Touch the tin of paint that was used the most. Well, I mean, it's it's white, right? And and, and white is right there, so... That's not a puzzle. That's that's just right there. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Good thinking, and you know what? Your clever thinking has given me a brilliant idea of my own. Oh, what's that? If I just paint this wall white again, I'm practically asking for it to be covered in graffiti. So maybe I should get someone to come by and paint a fancy mural on it instead. I mean, a white wall is one thing, but you have to be a real lout to graffiti a nice mural. That sounds like a good idea. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it myself. I got big plans for this wall. I'm gonna get someone to paint something amazing on here. By the way, I don't think I introduced myself before. My name's Slate. Nice to meet you. All right, we'll have to check in on him later if we can. All right, let's talk to the dick in the hat. Well, well, look who we have here. We met you on our way to the Gilded Seven Casino, did we not? <laughs> nice to see that I made an impression. Let me guess, you don't want to let us through. <laughs> no need for that attitude. It's my job to keep out people who've got no business being here. You can't fault a fellow for trying to make a living, can you? Perhaps not, but we do have business here. We've come to meet the man who calls himself Leighton. <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I simply cannot let you pass. Why is that? We've stated our business. Because my employer, Mr. Leighton, is out at the moment, which means you have no reason to enter the building. You're quite sure he's not in the towering pagoda. <laughs> I didn't just lie to you if that's what you're insinuating. The boss has left the building. He's away. Gone. Not here. Where could he have possibly gone? Well, we know where he isn't, in the Towering Pagoda. 
Professor, I propose we do some sleuthing. I'm sure we can track the uh, this other latent down. I agree. Let's ask some of the people in the area if they've seen my elusive counterparts. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna go talk some more then. Oh, hey, he's already painting. What do you know? Looks like your mural is coming along nicely. Yeah, isn't it though? I asked some of the local children to help. They love painting. Well, it's looking great so far. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Well, he doesn't have anything to say about Leighton, I guess. Making real progress on this mural. Come on, have another look. Fucking. Me fumbling my. Not me fumbling my words again. Man. What's up, fellas? I went to see the man in the tower in Pagoda, but he was out. Do you know where he might be? I've got a pretty good idea, but I'm not telling. He's dangerous. You don't want to tangle with him. Come now, surely there's no harm in letting us know where he might be. You're not wrong there, but uh, I suppose I can just tell you what I've heard. It's just a rumor, though. Sure you want to know this? I'm telling you, this fellow's bad news. Proper bad. We can handle it. What have you had? People say he disguises himself and goes walking around town. He'd be standing next to us now. He wouldn't even know. Scary stuff, eh? Actually, I'm getting spooked myself, so let's, uh, let's end this little chat, okay? Laters. Hello there, Mr. Gentleman. How are things? <clears throat> oh, you don't have anything to tell us? Okay. Okay. If you're still looking for a tower pagoda, you should know you're a little off course. Oh, we know that. Actually, we're getting information at the moment. Oh, is that so? You've got a research project for school, are you? I advise you to talk to all the locals around here. I'll give you a perspective on the place. Once you've had a word of everyone, come see me again. Maybe I'll have an interesting tidbit or two for you. Wouldn't it be easy if you just told us what you know now? <laughs> Damn. What a... What a bitch. Okay. Make way! Make way! Coming through! I'm in a hurry here! I've got to get back! Goodness, that little man startled me. Who would have thought such short legs can move so quickly? Did you see how he raced out of his shop? He was really sprinting, wasn't he? Kept him uneasy in those wet shoes and trousers of his. He was carrying two armfuls of books to boot. Must be a big customer here. Maybe the lady behind the counter can tell us something about him. Hey, good job with the Hades, Hana. Good job. Hello there. Can I help you find something? Actually, I was hoping you could tell us about the man who rushed out of your shop just now. Oh, that's Dr. Avogadro. He's always in a hurry. Well, it's very strange. His trousers and shoes were absolutely soaked. That's how it always is. I suppose I'm just used to it now. He sneaks away from work to come and browse through our new books. You know how absent-minded geniuses can be. I'm sure he doesn't even notice puddles in the road. Or maybe he likes to go fishing on his breaks. Perhaps so. He always bursts in, buys a few books, and dashes out without so much as a word. Hmm. Will you have anything to say about future Leighton, though? No. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, what is it? Hmm? What do you want? Can't you see I'm in a hurry here? Oh, Luke, I think you've upset him. You can't just go running up to strangers and expect him to chat to you, you know. I can't help it, Flora. How else are we supposed to find leads for our investigation? Some people really don't like talking to strangers. You... Look, if you two are just going to stand there squabbling, will you at least get out of my way? I've got a place to be and I could do without you obstructing me. Oh, but you can't keep running around like that. Huh? Like what? With your trousers and shoes all dripping wet. It must be awfully uncomfortable. And there'll be time for drying off later. I have to go now. Enjoy your little robe. Drat, he's gone. He might have stayed if he hadn't got off on the wrong foot. You can hardly blame that on me. Man, oh hey. This path is open now. Maybe we should check down here. Oh boy, it's Shaggy again. Shaggy the coat rack. Hi. Hello there. Yeah, good day, miss. My name's Edgar. It's lovely to meet you. Hi, Edgar. Ah! It's you! It's nice to see you again. You were using that girl as a decoy to lure me out of hiding! I knew it! I knew something was up when she started chatting to me out of the blue! Why, oh why did I stop to talk to her? That got me right where you want me! I'm getting out of here! Whatever did I do to get on that fellow's bad side? I haven't got a clue, Professor. He was nice. Is he a friend of yours, Luke? I wish I could say that, but I can't ever get him to stop cowering in fear. Man, there's something very compelling about that sign. Yeah, it's a fucking cat. Yeah, it's a door I can go in. Let's not yet. I just want to click around for coins first. 
Nothing? Damn. Okay. Hi, you. Hello there, my name is Paige. What's yours? I'm Flora. How do you do, Paige? Not so well, I'm afraid. I've had my, this puzzle on my mind for days, and it's got me positively stumped. I know we just met, and this is terribly forward of me, but would you mind having a look at it? Alright, the chick's shadow. Okay. This is a Layton Graham. Fill in the little bird silhouette using the five pieces in Layton's top hat. Okay. Another one of these, eh? This'll be easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. I need... I assume this goes here, so that's the only one like this. Uh... Then this can go here, I get. Oh, yep. And then... Boop. Oh yeah, this one's easy. This one's easy. Come on. Come on, this one's easy. What do you take me for? Bap. Hmm, does this sound right? Did you see that? <laughs> well done. The shucks are so tiny they can't even fly yet. Yeah, they're just... They're, they're just little, little blocky fellas, you know. Gosh, you must have some sort of super brain to solve a puzzle like that so easily. No, the puzzle was just really easy. Well, I try. After all, braids are something no true lady can afford to be without. Oh, picture book number three now. Man, we are making progress on the books, on the book stickers that I have yet to really touch. Haha, uh -huh, Burb doesn't need one of those. Okay. No cages for Burb. Any other, any other coins? No? Okay. Oh, what a lovely parrot. Nice to meet you, meet you. I'm Ha Ha Burb, Ha Ha Burb. Oh my, clever and polite. Well, Ha Ha Burb, my name is Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle, nice to meet you. Is this your pet shop? A pet shop? Oh, no, 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 young fellow. This is no pet shop. It's a meeting place where animals can try, can find true friends, like you and Ha Ha Burb, eh? You can say that again. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Luke. Yeah, well, it's very nice to meet you too, Luke. You and Haha Burb play nicely together now, all right? Get lost, get lost! Not all the time for that, Haha Burb. <laughs> Funny birdie. Well, maybe there's something in here. Yo, the house! Does anything about this room strike you as familiar, Luke? Familiar? Uh, actually, now that you mention it... Hey, the bee is here too. Ow! That's an awfully big cipher that's a small bee. What's the matter? Well, you know, even a honeybee like myself gets a little down in the dumps every now and then. It must be awfully hard looking after all those puzzles being, you know, a bee. Oh, that? <laughs> no, that's a piece of cake, kid. My problem is that I'm different from all the other bees. You can say that again. What's your story anyway, Beasley? Oh, so you want to hear about me, do you then? Sure, all right. Oh, wait, it's no, I remember what happens here. It's a lonely drone's triumph over adversity. To become a puzzle bee. I'm talking about... Gotcha. Death! No, Beasley! That's better. Bugs are so very icky, don't you think? You really can't slap them enough. Damn, what the fuck? What the fuck, girl? Oh, no worries there, my fellow puzzle aficionado. Taking care of puzzles is my job now. Granny's put me in charge, so just leave it to me. Granny who? Oh, right, of course. So then you'll... That's right. You can call me Puzzlet, because that's my name. Hope to see ya soon. Soon, soon. Bottom tier character. Already. She fucking killed the bee. I don't want to fucking talk to her after that shit. Get out of here! <laughs> Can't believe the nerve of some people. God. If you're still looking for a tyrant pagoda, you should know you're a little off course. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we need to talk to everyone else first. Wait, does that mean I actually have to talk to her? Can't that cutscene just count? I'm gonna go talk to other people. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, the bo- uh, <clears throat> The boss. Look, I'm here because I don't want to think about the boss, all right? Anyway, you ain't never gonna find him in a spit and sawdust place like this. He's a classy fella. Okay. Welcome to Pepper's Noodle Palace. What will it be, gents? Uh, we're not here to eat, I'm afraid. We just want to ask you a few questions about the fellow who runs the Towering Pagoda. I mean, I really can't interest you in a bite to eat. Well, all right. Now, what were you saying? We'd like to meet the man who runs the Towering Pagoda, but he seems to be out at the moment. Has he come by our restaurant by any chance? I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. But his lackeys come by here, slack off on a daily basis. Terrible table manners they've got, too. Come to think of it, that probably means the man you're looking for never comes in here. I mean, would you go skeeving off in a place where the boss could burst in at any moment? You make a good point. That's very astute of you. Flattery's nice, but if you really want to say thanks, order some food next time you come in, okay? Alright, well, I'm out. I'm out of here! I don't think we ever went in here, actually. Oh, right, I remember why I was avoiding this place. Y you. <laughs> God, he is just standing there, huh? Yo, Ollie, good job. Good job getting landing an interview. Look at all these toys, Professor! Into your toys, are you lad? I used to be, but I don't have much time for toys now that I'm older. Oh, but what about that toy car you're so fond of? F fond of, not found of, fuck. I suppose you got me there, Professor. That car's just too much fun to put down. That's why we've only played one stage of it on stream. <laughs> Toy car, you say? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, this is one of my creations. Really? Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Yes, yeah, since you're such a fan, I'll make you a special offer. You can solve this puzzle of mine. I'll give you a special track for your toy car. A special track just for solving a puzzle? This is my lucky day. All right. Puzzle 68. All right, two squares of paper and beer being shown below. Each piece of paper has been folded in half and folded in half again as shown in the images. Dot red line, the rightmost image of paper A shows where a cut will be made. Alright. Your task is to cut paper B so that when you unfold it, the cutout shape in the middle matches the hole in the middle of paper A when it's unfolded. Draw the cut you need to make on the rightmost image of paper B. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, I'm... Well. Well, let me... Let me think about this. Uh... I've got some, I've got some practice napkins to try and fold shit, I guess. I can try that. I can try working it like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't have scissors, though. Fuck. Well, no practice for me. N n no, no solving it with three dimensions. Gotta use my noodle. You know what? I have 76 coins. Unlike the last few games, I can actually, I can, I can, I can bear to use one or two. Imagine what paper A will look like after it's been cut and unfolded. Work that out first and go from there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, if it's like that, eh. if it is like at fold, fold. If it's cut like that. Then, like, wouldn't... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. God, these things aren't a perfect square. What am I doing? Uh... Oh, wait, it would be like a hole in the center, wouldn't it? Huh. So, maybe it would be like this for this one since that would also make like a hole in the center i suppose hmm. how about this yeah yeah there we go Phew. that's a relief you made the cut as shown in the image above both pieces of paper will have the same shape cut out of the middle one unfolded why not get a few pieces of paper and try it out for yourself that's what i was doing to understand the fucking thing <laughs> A good use of the gray matter, lad. Here's that check as promised. Thank you so much. Yeah, the name's Checker, by the way. Feel free to drop by the shop for a browse anytime. All right, we got that funky little course. Now let's see if you know anything about the future, Layton. Okay, you don't. Good to know. 
I'll be gone then. I'll be leaving. We call him Future Luke. Luke too. Uh, well, we well, they call him Big Luke, and uh, there's a different NPC that calls Luke Fluke. So, hmm, you know, there's a lot of different names we could use. Good day, Whippersnappers. Did you manage to find that dreadful man who runs the tower in Pagoda? Unfortunately not. He was out when we visited. We are still trying to locate him. Ah, uh, well, you're wasting your time searching for him in this part of town. Does that mean you know where we can find him? Oh, I've said too much. I can be so careless at times. So you do know. Please tell us where he is. It's very important. I've said it once and I'll say it again, lad. I like how forthright you are, so I suppose I could drop a potentially helpful hint your way. On one condition, that is. What condition? Run over and tell my darling wife that I'll be eating out for lunch today. Do that and I'll gladly help you. But we don't know who she is or where to find her. Well, she's easy to find, my Myrtle. She runs a pet shop on the edge of Chinatown. Shouldn't take you long to find it. Very well. Deliver the message to your wife and return immediately. Why do I have the feeling this ain't gonna this ain't gonna be working out as well as we thought it as as it seems? The pet shop's just over there. Yeah, I know. We 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 were literally just here. It's Myrtle, isn't it? How do you do? We're here to deliver a message. Now let me guess, it's from that useless husband of mine. That sluggard just strolls about town all day while I work my fingers to the bone in here. Professor, what's a sluggard? I'll uh I'll explain later, Luke. Oh, oh god, now now I need to know. Let me look that up. <laughs> Cause I don't think I've heard that before either. Oh, just just somebody who's lazy. I thought it was something I thought it was something I thought it was something more than that. <laughs> that's what that's that's what the dictionary says. <laughs> now where was I? Ah oh, yes. Rudolph wanted to let you know that he'll be eating out for lunch today. <laughs> Peppers, no doubt. How infuriating. I'm the one who works, and yet I still manage to make lunch for us every single day. Yes, and not to let it go to waste. Now, madam. And another thing, we don't have enough disposable income to be eating out all the time. I don't care how much he likes those noodle soups, his behavior is simply shameful. Uh, well, uh, we delivered the message, so uh, we'd best be off. I spent valuable time picking out and preparing delicious, nutritious recipes, and this is my thanks! I'm a working woman, you know! Ha! Huh. Where did everyone go? Ooh, that was quite intense. Just goes to show that when someone prepares you food, you can't just run off on them. Wow, Flora, uh, is there something you want to talk about? <laughs> hey, where's the professor? Here I am. You three surprised me. I had no idea you could run so quickly. My apologies, professor. It was getting a bit heated in there. But I still think it's very rude to stand someone up when they prepared food for you. Oh, yes, absolutely. Right, uh, now that that's over with, Rudolph needs to keep his side of the bargain. Let's pay him another visit. Okay. Uh, down. And, hi, your wife hates you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you deliver the message to my sugar lump? We did, but I have to tell you, she was absolutely seething by the time we left. Whatever for? She seemed rather upset at the thought that you might be dining at Peppa's Noodle Palace. Oh, dear me, I feel there might be a misunderstanding brewing between here. Do go on. My wife is a gem. I treat her like a queen. Queen shouldn't have to prepare lunch. She works so hard that I don't want to add to her burden. Plus, who doesn't love noodle soup? Anyway, I'm boring you now. Let me give you that bit of information I promised. It's just a rumor, but I've heard the fellow you're after is quite fond of old father Thames. Th Thames, Thames, I don't... Hey! Hey, Goog! Google, how do you pronounce that again? I, I always get it mixed up. Hey, Google, tell me how to, tell me how to say that. Thames, apparently, according to Google. Oh, and you just said, okay, Thames. Said he likes going for walks to my the river whenever he has a spare moment. Interesting, says so a chance we'll find that man down by the river. Who as I said, it's a rumor and nothing more, but go and see. There may be some truth in it. We shall do just that. Thank you for the tip. Uh, just a moment now. <laughs> you whippersnappers are always rushing, aren't you? Here, take this. Oh, oh. Hello. A flyer. It's for a small restaurant by the Thames. The Thames Arms? A lovely little place. If you're in the area and have the time, you really should drop in. It sounds like the perfect place to take a break. We'll be sure to visit if time allows. Good day, sir. Oh, you lad, wait just a moment. Yes? My wife, Myrtle, how um, angry was she exactly? Furious. Oh, I see. Thank you, uh, oh dear. Well, <clears throat> is there a spot with a good view of the river around here? 
There was that hill we walked over on the way to Chinatown. You can see the river from up there. The place that Luke's talking about has some stairs that run down to the riverside. It might be worth investigating. Oh, goody! A walk by the river sounds wonderful. Flora, focus! This is serious business. We're halting the trail of a criminal mastermind. Come on, Luke. Loosen up a little. We're making progress on the case, and Flora's just finding her own way to enjoy it. I suppose that's true. Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing, Luke. Let's head for the hill. Okay. Man, short chapter. Just under an hour. Nice. Chapter 8. A meeting by the river. Oh shit, wait. This is actually getting... Yeah, wait. We might actually finish next time then. Huh. Another four, another four stream game. Okay. <laughs> oh hey, you weren't here before. Hi. Oh, hello, sir. Ah! Please don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, sorry, it's just... Uh, I noticed your shoes were soaked and... So what? What's your... So at least my worries right now. Oh, what seems to be the problem? I arranged to meet my friend here, but I think there's been some confusion about the time. Oh, boy. Puzzle 77. Bleep. I think my watch is five minutes slow, but it's actually five minutes fast. My friend thinks this watch is five minutes fast, but it's actually five minutes slow. You try to show up at our meeting point at the same time by only checking our watches. How many minutes earlier than my friend will I arrive? Enter a minus sign for your answer if I arrive later than my friend. You don't need to enter a sign if I arrive earlier. Okay. Well, I guess I should just go ahead and just move over to the input screen, since there's not really, there's not really much I can use to work out the answer here. Watch it five minutes slow, but it's actually five minutes fast. How do you know? Uh, well, maybe compa maybe compared to the uh, other time pieces he has in his places, I don't know. Hmm. If okay, if they're five minutes apart each, okay, five minutes fast. Five minutes fast is actually five minutes slow. Uh, God, God, this this sound this sounds simple. This sounds simple. Uh, hmm. But if wait wait if he thinks it's slow. Then he's going to arrive earlier. But why would he think the information he knows is incorrect is more my issue. Eh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so, wait. So, yeah, instead of five minutes each, if they think it's the other way around, if they, I mean, if they think, if they know, then I guess it would be 20 instead of 10? Hey, that's a good two. I actually, I, I actually did a good two for once. <laughs> I actually took my time with that one. Didn't just scratch that it out. do the trick. Nuts. Well, that's settled. Yes, that is settled. I'll arrive at the meeting point 20 minutes before my friend. My watch is 5 minutes ahead of the actual time, but because I think it's 5 minutes slow, I'll arrive 5 minutes before our meeting time, which will actually be 10 minutes early. Between me being early and him being late, I'll have to wait 20 minutes. God, that's a mouthful. Okay. Ah, now it all makes sense. I'm glad everything has been cleared up. Ah, yes, the science is clear to me that you've got a real knack for critical thinking. I'll say he's the most professor. He's the most acclaimed professor in archaeology of the country. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's the most acclaimed professor of archaeology in the country. Ah, that explain it. Anyway, you have my thanks, professor. I'm glad I could be of assistance. <laughs> I do a lot of second takes. Oh hi, you're still here. Yeah, salutations and whatnot. What brings up stand citizens like yourselves back through here? We're tracking down the boss of the family. We got a hot tip that he's down by the river. Whoa now, slow down. Keep sniffing around for trouble like that and something's bound to start stinking. Take it from me. You certainly appear to be an authority on such subjects. Don't you know it? I can see you two aren't going to heed, heed my warning either. You're dead set on going to the riverside. You should drop by the restaurant down there. The grub is top notch. If you're looking for trouble, you might as well do it on a full stomach. Does the cat have a new puzzle? That's a that's a bird noise, Perry. That is a bird noise. That's not that. Ah! <laughs> What am I? What am I doing? What's going on in here? Oh hey, you're still around. Hello there. Oh hello. Ah no, it is near you again. He's not who you think he is. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Oh hi. Well, just who is he then? Rick is the head of the family, but he's not. Honest, he's not. I mean, just look at those eyes. You see for yourself if they aren't the eyes of a criminal. You think they're such beady-looking wee things? Can I tell? 
Oh, but now I've made myself cross-eyed looking at them. Well, they do seem trustworthy, I suppose. You know, now that I look more closely, your eyes are pretty beady too. Yes, well, that's enough on that subject. Tell me, sir, what are you doing out here? Ah, I was meant to meet a friend, but he's awful late. Ah, okay. There's that little... There's a little extra end to that bit, I guess. Almost there! The view of the river here is lovely! Where do you suppose the future professor is? I'm so excited to meet him! You're awfully cheerful all about this, Flora. Aren't you excited to meet him, too? I want to find him, but I can't say I'm looking forward to meeting a criminal. Those stairs over there should take us down to the riverside. And let's not waste any time. Down we go. Alright. Not talking to that guy again. I've had enough of him. <laughs> oh boy, wait, no, this is the other This is the other uh, animal that, if I'm remembering right, we're about to meet. Wow, the river looks as if it goes on forever. It's so pretty. Oh, there he is. Hi. What? Watch out, Professor. Oh, okay. That I forgot this is voice. Jumpy. I don't like that glint in his eye. He looks like he could attack us at any moment. Well, you've always had a way with animals, even those of the more cantankerous variety. Cantankerous is a fun word. Why don't you see if you can't befriend the little fellow? Befriend him? Right. He doesn't look too friendly. I guess I can give it a shot. <laughs> what do you want? Um, hello. I hope you're enjoying this lovely day. Would you mind if we pass through here? Yeah. You humans are so full of yourself. Always act not your own a place. But this here's my turf. Take one more step and I'll rearrange your kneecaps. Oh, I forgot he threw out the the kneecap Sorry, the Mr. kneecap Rabbit. threat. I didn't mean to. Mr. Rabbit, ah, uh, please. What storybook you get that from? The name's subject free, okay? And don't get any stupid ideas about us being friends just because you know my name now. <coughs> of course not, Mr. Subject Three. I don't mean to impose. He's well versed in the art of me cat busting. I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's a good. Those puny ears of yours don't hear too well, do they, boy? I thought I made it clear that this is my turf. But we just. Ah, shut your trap. Look, I'm not an unreasonable rabbit, but nothing's free, you know. If you weren't through that much. You're gonna have to solve this puzzle. All right, the bunny hop. Of course, an uncommonly clever rabbit has imposed some rather strange rules upon its movement. It can jump 70 centimeters forward, but after every jump forward, it must jump 30 centimeters in the direction of its tail. This rabbit needed to travel 10 meters in a straight line, was the lowest number of jumps in which it could cover the distance. Oh. Hmm. 70 centimeters forward, but it must jump 30 centimeters in the direction of its tail. So if it's... So that would basically be, like... The <laughs> British rabbits are built different. <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, what's 10 meters divided by 70 centimeters? Wait no, forty because I have to. I have to account for the. Uh, I have to account for the. Uh, the the hops back right. Uh, okay, according to according to the according to my math, according to the calculator, <laughs> according to the calculator, because. I can't just do math. I can't just write down math anymore. Ever since I got out of high school and ever since I did my one required college math course, I can't do math on my own anymore. According to the calculator, it's 20, so I will trust it. Here's my answer. Hey, all right. Bada boom, bada bing. That's yeah, 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 yeah. After every death I can't talk. What's wrong with me? Uh, 
So, you solved it, eh? <laughs> you are the cannier humans I've run into. I'll give you that. So, how'd you end up here anyway, Mr. Subject 3? What's your story? Wanna know more about this old rabbit, do ya? Well, get your hanky ready, cause my tail's a real tearjerker. Uh, alright. I was born in the mean streets of London, and separated from my parents at an early age. I would never see them again. It wasn't long before I was kidnapped and sold as a lab animal. I thought it couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. The research facility I was taken to was the most miserable place on Earth. Mad Rat Dead moments. <laughs> it was there that the white coats started calling me Subject Free. That's a strange name. Yeah, that's because it wasn't so much a name as an ID. I was a test subject, not a cuddly pet. There was a subject one and a subject two there, but who knows what happened to them. I don't mean to stir up painful memories, but you said you were a test subject, so... They did on me. Just thinking Liam O'Brien doing the voice of the rabbit? Morning. God. <laughs> wouldn't uh, wouldn't have thought it. Huh. Okay. Well, this was one of their favorite routines. They'd throw me in a room and cut the lights. It'd be a loud noise, like nails on a blackboard. Next thing I know, I'm in a totally different room. Even now, I have no idea what they were doing. God, that's that yikes. Awful. Have you two worked everything out? Did you hear Subject 3's terrible story? Apparently, he was forced to be a test subject in all these weird science experiments. Our friend here carries a heavy burden on his shoulders. Poor little fellow. Yeah, Poor yeesh. little fellow? <laughs> Spare me your pity. Or never mind, I guess. Life is hard, kid. And I've had it harder than most. None of it really matters. The sooner you stop expecting good things to happen, the better off you'll be. What kind of attitude is that? You're free now, and you've got your whole life ahead of you. Ah, oh, so now you're gonna tell me how to live my life, eh? Go on then, get oh, out of my face before I bite the lot of you. Okay, okay, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm going, I'm going. Let's investigate the Riverside area. What a quaint little restaurant. Hey, look at the sign. It seems we found the Thames Arms. Indeed, it seems to be both open and inviting. What say we step inside and have a look around? Okie doke. Hi there. Gentlemen, miss, welcome to the Thames Arms. Good afternoon. We're here in search of an acquaintance who may have come by here today. Well, as you can see, it's fairly quiet. One regular came in earlier, but he left a few minutes ago. I see. This regular didn't happen to come from Chinatown, did he? Ah, uh, uh, forgive me, but it doesn't seem right to give out that kind of information without a consent. Of course, I understand your position. But this information could be vital. The fate of London hangs in the balance. That's quite a claim to make. Oh, how about this? You can help me with a problem I'm having. Perhaps I'll help you with yours. Alright. Diced dates. You decided to make a special pair of dice for your desk that can display each of the date of the month numerically, as shown by 12 at the top of the screen below. Each date must use both dice, however, which means single digit dates like the first and second of the month will be displayed 0, 1, 0, 2, respectively. You thought you had the design sorted, but the layouts can't display all the dates. Draw a circle around the one that needs to be changed. Hmm. I think I have an idea, but nothing solid just yet. I, I, I want to hold off. Hmm. Let me think on this. Oh, 
Oh wait, no, this is simple. This one needs a zero. The, the, the right one. The right one needs a zero. Doesn't it? Yeah. So, uh... Hmm. What should we get rid of then? I'm thinking a six, maybe. Because we can use the nine as a six if need be, right? Right? We have the one, two. We have the one and two here already, so, you know, it could be interchangeable. Yeah. You know, you know, I think that works out. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Nice. The six needs to be changed. The current design won't allow the dice to display the zero, seven, or zero, eight. But if you change the six to a zero, you can turn the nine upside down and use it as a six to display all the dates. Yeah. Yeah. See? Simple. Excellent. Your help was much appreciated. Now that we've solved your problem, will you tell us about the man who was in here earlier? Yeah, hey, deal's a deal. The customer who came by earlier was what some might call a bit of an oddball. By the time he comes in, he's got different gear on. Maybe he thinks I won't recognize him or something. So he disguises himself? Yeah, he tries to, I suppose, but he, can't, he says he can't afford to be spotted in public, so he always wears different clothes. And this man hails from Chinatown. That's right, he says he comes here to unwind. His routine is pretty much the same every time. He usually come, walks in wearing that top hat of his, hoards a coffee, and finds a seat by the window. Did you say he wears a top hat? I did. It's a tall number, like the one your friend is wearing. That's how I always know who he is. But you said this man has already left for today, correct? That's right. He arrived a few minutes earlier. You have bumped into him leaving. You suppose he's going back to the Italian Pagoda, Professor? I think there's a good chance of that. Why don't we go and find out? Good idea. Let's go. Have a nice day. All right. Well, thank you. What a nice, what a nice fella. Let, let's go back to the Pagoda then. Is that Barton over there? What on earth is he doing peering into that restaurant window? Yo, Barton, what are you doing? Oh. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Hello, Constable. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello. I've been all over town gathering information, you know, but all that walking has put me in the mood for a snack. So that's why you're peeking through the restaurant window. Yes, I must confess that a lovely wobbly jelly caught me eye. Do a hungry man a favor and keep leave my little break a little secret from the inspector, won't you? Ah, ah, I wouldn't dream of reporting you, my good man, but now that you mention it, where is the inspector? He's been conducting a series of exhaustive interviews with everyone he meets in town. Once he finds a useful source, he really knows how to bring out every last detail. Oh, I bet. Man, alright. Well, good to see you again, buddy. I'll be on my way. Dear sweet fluke, I've been looking everywhere for you. But Belle, what are you doing here? But please forgive Luke, he's easily flustered. What a pleasant coincidence it is to run into you here. Coincidence? Oh, no, 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 this is nothing short of fate. Because you see, Fluke and I are destined for each other. Well, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Fate? Destiny? Just what have you been telling this poor girl, Luke? Me? Nothing! It's all one big misunderstanding! Now listen, we haven't, we haven't done anything! Oh, Fluke, you're so cute when you get all flustered like that. I can just eat you up. I'm not flustered or cute. Just now, my darling. There'll be time for chit-chat later. I can't let you know I've been seeing strange men running all over town looking for you. I keep going on and on about the boss, blue caps, and other gibberish. That sounds bad. Professor, do you think the family has finally cottoned on to us? I fear that may be the case. If so, we have limited time. We must gain access to the Towering Pagoda before the family sends more thugs into the area. Don't be scared, my sweet. I won't let anyone harm you. Look, Val, uh, thanks for the warning, but you can stop worrying about me now. You can stop calling me weird names! Oh, Fluke, I love when you play hard to get. It just makes me swoon. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! I don't need you around here anymore. Thank you for the info, though. That was nice of you. Chapter 9, The Master of the Towering Pagoda. God, we are just zooming through things now, apparently. Okay. To the pagoda. To the wall. We already talked to you. Do you have another puzzle? No? Okay. Just which way must I venture in order to get to Rome? Uh, uh, follow the, uh, uh, I don't know. Follow some sort of road. Not sure which one. 
Yeah, boy, funny tower section time. Man, it's deserted out here now. Oh, wait, no, you're still here. Asshole. <laughs> Back again, I see. Yes, we heard Mr. Layton had returned. That is not incorrect. And I assume you'll be letting us through. <laughs> I have no objections. Well, that's not entirely true. There is one minor issue left. When the boss got back, he ordered me not to let anyone through unless they solve this puzzle. Oh god, oh fuck, the impassable gate. Oh god, oh no! No one has ever triumphed over the impassable gate. Give it a try if you dare. Make it to the top and I'll let you pass. Slide Professor Layton and Luca to the top square to solve this puzzle. <sighs> okay. Let's 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 give it a shot. Hmm. This could be a problem. <laughs> It's this bit right here that is causing me trouble. That bit in particular. Eh. The green piece is always gonna get in your way. You need to find some way of moving it. First, move Professor Layton and Luke over to the left and move the red piece down to the bottom right corner. Now move the blue piece into the space opened up against the right wall. Okay, let's, let, let me read that again. First, move Professor Layton and Luke over to the left. Move the red piece down to the bottom right. And then it said move the blue piece, right? Space is opened up against the right wall. Okay. Hmm. I th think I'm getting close to progress. Wait a second. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. But now I put the green back. No, no. What have I done? I didn't even realize that was that was like a subconscious thing. Oh lord. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just sad. I keep, like, almost figuring it out, and then I just don't. Because, like, I get this far, and it's like, no, you don't, you don't get to have fun anymore. No more. You just... You just sit there, and that's it. That's all you get. Eh. Hmm. Fucking restart. It was like left, down, left, I think. I guess this can go down here. If you were to win, that's why I'm trying. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. Wait, what if we put this into the pocket space for a little bit? Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Maybe just leave that there for just a bit. I don't know. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. No, don't, don't do that just yet. Uh... <sighs> hey, wait a minute. Up. Oh! oh! Wait. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this one. 
I really got mad for like half a second before just, I realized, wait, I just I, I just made a single wrong move. It's fine. Incredible, you may now pass through the gate. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems the boss was right about you. You must be the one he's been waiting for. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you for your thank you for your help. <laughs> Does that mean we can enter? Head down the street to the pagoda. I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Well, thank you. The tower begun is not far now. Leighton from your time and the one from mine are finally going to meet face to face. That might be tricky because our professor's not here. Uh, huh? Hmm? Where's the professor? It's like he just disappeared. But he just solved that puzzle that got us through the gate. Yes, and then we walked through the gate together. Uh, he was a bit ahead of us by that point. I think he might have waved at me before he vanished. What? But where did he go? I'm not sure. He was smiling as he dashed off, though. But why? I have no idea. Professor's actions always have some purpose, though. Hey, Flora, there's a piece of paper stuck to your back. Oh, how embarrassing. Someone must be playing a trick on me. Something written on it. it it's in the professor's handwriting. Let's have a look. It says, go on without me. I'll catch up with you soon. I think we should do as he says. The professor's never led us astray after all. I agree. This is all probably part of the professor's brilliant plan that he's concocted. It's all very well, but one of you Luke's heads, please take this paper off my back. Oh, jeez. No more professor. Oh, God. Well, he said he'll be back soon, but still. Oh, no. No more professor. <laughs> Give me the coin. Hey, you. Talk to me. Hey, hey. What are you lot doing back here? We're on our way to the town in Pagoda. Not that it's any of your business. Not so fast! You're the ones who went on a rampage in a casino, ain't ya? What if we are? W what are you going to do about it? I... I my brother Chelton would give you a good hiding! If you hadn't got to spend a penny. Looks like we're in luck then, eh? We'll just be on our way now. If you run off, I'll make sure that Chelton squishes you like an ant when he finds you. We'll bear that in mind. Wait, one more thing! Uh, Solve this puzzle! Sure. Why not? This photo, taken at the finishing line of a race, has been cut into strips and mixed up. Before it was cut, the photo displayed the runners in, in the order they finished the race. Which of the runners came third? Circle the layer that corresponds to your answer. Uh. I gotta find where the beginning is. Uh, I'm guessing since I'm not seeing anything cut off here, I'm gonna say H and I is the first strip. Uh, but then we gotta look for where a red tail is. Oop. Maybe it's maybe it's F then. Maybe. But let's keep looking. Let's keep looking real quick. Uh, then that would be the tail over here. I think. Where's that other tail? Where's that other tail? No, wait, yeah, it's right there next to J and K. There's the head above J and then the body over there. So, yeah, I'd say it's F. It's right the tail of the one bird is right there. I do believe I've got the answer. Boom! Got him! It seems I was right on the money. Yeah. F came in third by a nose. Okay. Okay. You blast! You solved it! We really don't have any more time for this silliness. We'll be heading to the Pagoda now. We're fine, but remember, you got lucky. If my brother was here, you'd be the one getting bossed around. Are you quite finished? If this ain't over. Mark my words. You're gonna get what's coming to ya. Alright, bye. <laughs> I hope we find oh. the professor soon. Poor thing. You're just lost without him, aren't you, Luke? You're a fine one to talk. Uh, sorry to keep everyone waiting. Let's be off. He doesn't sound right. <laughs> Where did you go? One minute you were there, and the next, you'd vanished. My apologies, Luke. I just needed to check something. His voice sounds off. I don't trust. I don't trust like that. 
But enough about that. Come along, everyone. The towering pagoda is just steps away. He's too enthusiastic. At last, we're here. And somewhere up there is the future Professor Layton. Perhaps, and perhaps not. I okay, there we go. That's more like it. Affair may be more complex than we originally thought. Apartment it, complex. Huh? I find it rather simple. Oh, uh, future Luke isn't looking too good, though. Uh, let's click around for some coins before we enter this door, because shit's about to go down, down, down. Oh, three. That's good. That's fine. I'll take those. I suppose it would be too much to expect the door to be open. Let's see. The eyes of this dragon seem to be the key that unlocks this door. Sounds like a puzzle. Let me handle it, Professor. I'll have the door open before you know it. Okay, let's go. These dragon eyes are not spheres, but dodecahedrons. That means both of them are 3D objects made of 12 pentagons. Though one of the eyes is already made, the other one still needs to be assembled. Which option, A, B, or C, will create an eye that's exactly the same as the other one when folded together? Yep. <clears throat> Perry, please, just, just think about your words before you go, please. Uh, hmm. Another 3D visual. I'm not good at visualizing 3D shapes, and that's how that's how this fucking game always gets me. God, Jesus. Hmm. I mean, if I had to make an assumption, it would be the ones- it would be the ones that are, like, that would, like, come together on the edges. So, like, these two are, like, at sort of opposing angles, so maybe? And this one's kind of like that, but this one's, like, straight down. So it's like, eh. Meanwhile, this one's, like, boop, boop, scoodly doop So, I don't know. Eh, fuck it, I'm gonna go with A. It's a multiple choice question. If one's wrong, I can just choose the other one. Hmm. How about this? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it tonight. Yeah. Dragon's eyes flash and the door is unlocked. Alright, let's fucking go. All set! Smashing work, Luke. There's no time to celebrate. Let's head inside. Alright, sure. Why not? Get in there. My eyes irresistibly drawn to this fearsome dragon. Oh boy, let's let's click around for some coins. Come on, no, give me the coins. I'm not leaving. Okay, good, good, thank you. <laughs> I need a coin. All right, let's head in. Bunk. Layton, we're coming for you. Yeah. Okay, fine. I guess we'll do. Another funny thing. What's this contraption, Professor? It appears to be a peculiar set of goggles. Oh, I think I remember this puzzle. I think they're too big for me. Let's see. Ah, this is some sort of personal projection device. Personal what? I think there's a television for what, Luke? Only the wearer can see the image displayed inside. Which is a puzzle in these goggles that only the wearer can see. Solving is probably the only way to get through this door. Now that's high tech. They should fit me comfortably. Let's have a look. Yeah, Leighton with the funny goggles. <laughs> with the with the special funny goggle sprite, too. What do you see, Professor? <laughs> Those glasses make you look like a bug. A robot bug. I think something's coming into focus here. <laughs> Strange glasses. The, these two circular images show what you are seeing through your right and left eyes. The images were originally the same, but one of them has now been flipped right to left and rotated an unknown amount. The shapes are all the same as in the original image, with the exception of one, which has been slightly altered. Circle the shape that's been altered. Okay. Well. I meant memo, not restart. Okay. Uh, we can rule out H, since H is H, and, you know, there's not really much else to go off of there uh same with star stars about the same circle yeah uh 
That one looks the same. It's been flipped over directionally, though. Uh, moon would be the same. Uh, that leaves one of these two. That one looks the same, except, you know, flipped horizontally. Which I guess by process of elimination would leave G. Okie doke. Ah! It's a circle! Draw a circle! I had the circle before. Why did I do it again? I don't know. I've been off do all the day. Alright, now. Few explain it to me because I didn't do it right. <laughs> The answer is shape G. It may be easy to be fooled by the flipping, but if you pay attention to the relationship between the shapes and the axis, the answer is pretty easy to find. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I suppose that all makes sense, yeah? Well, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, whew, it was a relief to take those off. I was feeling all lightheaded and was having trouble focusing. It was all worth it, thanks to you. The door's unlocked and we're free to move on. All right, let's press forward. Oh no, not the fucking stairs. Oh god. Uh It's so gloomy. And there are dragons all over the place. Yeah oh fuck you two again. Ah jeez. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Just just, just fucking get out of here. You're too you, you, we're, we're too good. You can't stop us. But fine, sure. I'll talk. So you're the one who's been bullying my my brother Barbie. You're gonna pay for that! Well, well, look who went crying to the older boys. What an impressive act of bravery. Quite you! What was I supposed to do back there? I was outnumbered! There, there, I understand. Young, only small, and you knew you had no chance of stopping us. So you're getting this big lump here to do the dirty work for you. <laughs> Sticks and stones, sunshine! Believe you me, if the boss allowed violence in the pagoda, I'd have pounded you already. So I can't do that after soccer to you with this vicious puzzle. Would you like me to deal with this one, Big Luke? Eh, yeah, don't trouble yourself with this piece of riffraff, Professor. I can handle anything he dishes out. Man, Luke becomes a bit of a sassy bastard in the future. I like it. <laughs> two criminals want to use this board to see off the cave, where they store their smuggled goods. If they cut the board into two pieces of identical size and shape, they will have sealed the cave entrance completely. Draw lines on the board to indicate where it needs to be cut. Two identical pieces, eh? That's what it's saying. Well, that means it needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It needs to be seven pieces each. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking easy. Allow me to present my solution. It seems I was right on the money. Y'all ain't nothing. The board needs to be cut shown above, as you can see, the criminals have flipped one of the pieces and sealed the cave entrance shut. Fucking got him. So much for that puzzle. What are you going to do now? <laughs> You're lucky the boss doesn't let me rough up people in here. You've got to go outside some point when you do. Watch your back. Yeah, too right. All bark and no bites. Come on, everyone. We've got places to be. He should be around here somewhere. That fucking top hat bastard. Where? Where else is? This? Oh, this is the mirror room. Is this a mirror too? No, it's all dark. Strange. This whole room is covered in mirrors. It's very confusing. I've got no idea which way we need to go. Why is Luke looking kind of nice? Am I allowed to say? <laughs> I think. I don't know how. I. It's 10 years in the future, Luke, and I don't know how old the standard Luke is, but he, he does he does look pretty dapper. I'll give him that. Future look future Luke is future look fu future Luke. God, what is wrong with me today? I can't speak worth a shit. But he's but he is looking he is looking better. Yeah. Seems we've hit a dead end. How do you think we should proceed, Big Luke? Maybe we have to press a hidden panel on one of the walls to open the door out of here. Close, but not quite. My guess is correct. The door is hidden in the dark over there. We can't just rush headlong into the shadows. There's no telling what traps await us there. Ah, now I see what you're getting at. Are you saying this room is a puzzle, Professor? When is it not? <laughs> That's right, Luke. And I'm about to solve our way out of here. The mirror maze. Oh no. 
Sixteen circular rooms are arranged in a square as shown below. Beams of light shine in straight lines from each of the four letters A, B, C, and Z and exit through the four yellow arrows. Two side mirrors in four of the rooms reflect these beams. Each beam passes through a number of rooms listed next to its letter. Identify, identify which four rooms contain mirrors and the direction each mirror faces. Touch the rooms to add or remove mirrors and change their direction. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. A, B, C, and D. Okay. The mirrors from four other rooms reflect these beams. Each beam passes through a number of rooms listed next to its letter. Okay. Do, do, do. So that means D goes through the most at eight. So. Hmm. Which four rooms can say? Okay, so it's, yeah. We gotta have just four. Just gotta think of four in order to, uh. Okay, so wait, five. Then that would be one. Yeah, then that would be uh, that would be a little mm, one, two, three, four, five. Ba -ding! Good. Okay, we got that one solved already. <laughs> Easy. And alternatively, you know, you know, you can just go like one, two, three, four. Boom. <laughs> okay, two more, two more. All right. Easy shit. Easy shit. Come on, come on. Give me a challenge. Uh, as a matter of fact, actually, if we just let this one go straight, yeah, it's four. <laughs> oh wait. Now we get to D. This is where things get complicated. Okay. One, two, three. But that means it would have to go through this one, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yep, that works out. Easy, easy, schmeezy. That is four, right? Yeah, it's four. Okay. Good. That should do the trick. Eh, eh, Just eh, as eh. I suspect. Good. Right then, let's press on. Seems my theory was right. This way, everyone. You know, for this being future Layton's uh, headquarters, I, I would have thought the puzzles here would be like the toughest of the tough, but really, they ain't shit. <laughs> like honestly, the towering curious village had better, had uh, harder puzzles. Hmm. I'm I'm being I'm I'm being a I'm being a bit of a ass intentionally so to, to see if I have my hubris catch up to me. <laughs> Professor, I think this is the top floor. We must be close now. And would you look at that? A spiked ball in the center of the room. <laughs> well, that sure is a maybe not a puzzle, but that sure is a a change of pace. Hey. Future professor's quarters are probably on the other side of that door. But how are we supposed to make it across this huge gap? Does anyone else think this floor looks like a giant sliding block? But don't fucking talk to me about sliding block puzzles, Flora. <laughs> An astute observation, Flora. It seems the floor of this room is not is yet another puzzle for us to solve. The future Layton loves to keep things dramatic, doesn't he? That does seem to be the case. Let's get started. God dang it. Another... Another slide and block puzzle. There's only one way to proceed. I mean, to get across this room. In order to proceed, you have to work out how to put the four pieces of the dragon walkway back together. The spiked ball can also be moved freely. Okie dokie, Artichoke. Uh, hmm. Well then. It's time to, time to put the big brain on. I say as I immediately lock myself into a corner. Nice. Actually, wait, let me let me start over. Hmm. Yeah, from there, there's a lot more space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's very good. Okay. And from there, mm, no, no, it doesn't quite work out. No, no, no. It's, mm. But wait, if we do it like this, y'all can just scoot along the edge. There we go. Puzzle solved. No, no. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is not that simple. <laughs> it would be nice though. It would be nice if it was. God. <laughs> 
Oh, Perry, Perry, Perry. Stop trying to take the easy way out. Jeez. Hmm. Or so I suppose we use real world obvious solutions. Eh, none of them ever do. Eh. But that's just how. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, but no, seriously. That should do the trick. <laughs> that was the that, that is the second time I came really close, got angry, and then I realized, wait, it's right there. <laughs> All right, future Layton awaits on the other side of the walkway. There, it's safe to cross now, everyone. Good job. How did we, how did we move this? Is there like a lever or no? Okay, don't 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 bother mentioning. All right, stand back. We're opening the door. At last, we get to meet the future Professor Layton. Let's be careful, everyone. Um, Professor, is that... Yo, the man. Welcome, Herschel Layton. <sighs> Wait, hold up. Fucking phone. That doesn't... That doesn't sound like our good man. I demand an explanation. <laughs> this is a fucking... Well, you know the word. I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to fucking be the one to trigger the references in, in chat. God. Are you really Professor Layton? Nah, bitch. <laughs> yes, of course. Don't you recognize your old friend? I don't know. Something about you seems... off. Hmm, yeah, quite a bit, Surely actually. you recognize yourself, Herschel. Misfortune, our fortune, is a result of your ambition and genius. You can at least try to do a good impression, come on. Mm -hmm. What is it, Professor? You've put on quite a show, but it's clear to me that you're nothing but a charlatan. Oh, is that so? What tipped you off, Professor? Well, for first off, his clothes, whack. Yes, what Second indeed. off, his voice, whack. I'm all ears. Oh, I thought that would have been voiced. You, sir, are a fraud, and exposing you for the imposter that you are will prove simple. Fascinating. Do continue. Luke, would you be so kind as to solve a quick puzzle for me? Um, uh, right now, Professor? Are, are we in the middle of something here? Blocks have been carefully stacked as shown in the image below. The image is in a view from the side. The perspective has been rotated in an unknown direction. Gravity is acting on the block, so any block not touching the surface or a block below it will fall. We're looking at the block from the correct angle. Which direction, A, B, C, or D, is up? <laughs> for, one, for one thing, Luke, time travel doesn't fucking exist. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> that is such a uncharacteristic thing to say, but I just had to. Thank you for bringing my attention to that. Okay, which way Which way would be up? I need to know. Hmm. I've got to know! Hmm. Hmm. The image is a view from the side. The perspective is in rotate in unknown direction. Grab it right down the block. So any block not touching the... How is that sliding block puzzle 50 picker rats and this one's only 30? This one seems... Well, I guess this one's multiple choice, so it's automatically lesser difficulty, so... Hmm. Hmm. I guess if we're looking at it from a certain perspective, we would have to look for blocks that are, like, have a space below them, like this one. So I guess if we're going from this perspective, it can't be B, because then things would be falling. All right, rotate my, rotate over here. Oh, we got these over here when we go this way. So I guess it's not A. Uh, when we go C up oh, head. This will go that way. So I guess it wouldn't be C. Let me double check one last time with D. That's pretty stable. That's yep, 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 yep. 
Yeah, everything seems to work from D, so... Sure. Here's I guess it's D. Answer. Fucking got him. D is indeed up. When you look carefully at the stack from each angle, you can see which block can be pulled down by gravity. With the exception of when D is up, all other possibilities involve blocks falling. Yep. Figured that one out pretty easily. <sighs> Just need a bit of, bit of thonking, a bit of brainage. Yes, yes, the boy is quite bright. We all know that. But what does that have to do with anything? I'm getting there. But first, a question. I have a pen in my pocket that's either red or blue. Could you tell me which color it is? What a terribly uncharacteristic query for you to make. There's no logic for me to work through. I'm not a mind reader and I refuse to guess blindly. How can I solve your puzzle without a single hint? So in other words, you have no idea what color pen I have in my pocket. <laughs> He's just taking the piss right now, God. Of course not. That's funny. Oh. Luke, what would happen if you removed the bottom row of blocks in that pile I just showed you? But the rest of the blocks would fall down, I suppose. <clears throat> That's right. The blocks in the middle of the structure don't float in midair. Only by resting on the blocks beneath can those blocks stay elevated. If you were really my future self, you would have experienced this very moment before. There's simply no way that you could forget it. Given your answer, I can only assume that your memory of this crucial event is missing. Remember those blocks. All blocks are supported by others. You move one, everything on top of it comes tumbling down. The same goes for memory. You can't simply be missing a whole block of memory would destroy your very persona. It all makes sense now, uh, kinda, I guess. Eh? <laughs> in a latent esque way. I see. So what color is the pen in your pocket then? My pockets are empty. There was never a pen there to begin with. Got him! <laughs> Fucker. I had a feeling you were behind this, Dr. Stuntgun. Oh shit, he's hot now. Oh, should I say, Dimitri Allen? An he looks nicer without deduction. the mustache, I'll give him that. Does anything ever get past you, Herschel? Hmm. Brr. Brr. Dr. Stuntgun is really Dimitri Allen, one of the scientists involved in the time machine accident ten years ago. Future didn't turn out to be Dimitri Allen, the famous scientist renowned for his research into time travel. But what was Dimitri's reason for posing as a future Professor Layton? That is the question, isn't it? Hats off to you, Herschel. So you're the one who's been kidnapping scientists under my name. But why? Have you ever tried to build a time machine by yourself? It's a Herculean task. And by pinning the blame on you, I could disguise myself as one of the poor scientists who vanished. Conveniently, that also provided an excellent way to lure you here. After all, the virtuous Herschel Layton would never stand by as someone sullied his good name. Sure enough, you came running. And faster than expected at that. You're a real piece of work! So why me? You could have chosen anyone to be the scapegoat. I don't know, I thought it would be fun. Be. <laughs> you see, you play a critical part in the completion of my time machine. Or rather, your memories do. What are you saying? The best part is that I've already got what I need from you. Of course. So that strange device... Finally catching on, eh? Those glasses you put on were a cognitive capture unit of my own design. We really just took the In fucking bait without terms, questioning it, huh? Memory recorder. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say that there could have been a better pun there, but you know. But what use could you possibly Also, yes, this hat suits him better. I, I wasn't feeling the top hat. I wasn't feeling the top hat on him, to be honest. Why, they provide me with data, of course. Your memories contain all the information I need to recreate that fateful day's experiment. Which day? The day I lost everything that mattered to me. 
I still don't understand. There's a character called... Yeah, there was one earlier. Yeah. What does it mean? Um, I know it means something, but I forget, like, the exact meaning. It's like a phrase. It's like a... It's like one of those, like, phrases that means something, I guess. Layman's terms means a uh, simple language that anyone could understand. So I guess... I guess layman is just a phrase for simple man. <laughs> Which actually, which actually makes the fact that the uh, Layton, that the uh, short Layton looking dude named, I mean the short Layton looking dude that was named Layman earlier, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I'd say like this person who matters very little. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I'd imagine you know quite a bit about loss yourself, Herschel. Think, man. I'm talking about Claire. Oh shit. This again? Bruh. Bruh. Stop. Stop As trying you know, to... Time man, travel is don't. based on movement through wormholes. One end of the wormhole is anchored in the present. But every wormhole also needs a point of origin. And to find this point of origin, one needs data. Both you and Bill had substantial interactions with Claire on the day of the accident. Using your memories of those interactions, I will triangulate the point right before her death. Of course, finding a wormhole's point of origin is no easy task. If my calculations were even the slightest bit off, I could be trapped forever. Then why take the risk? What do you stand to gain? Everything. You see, like you, Herschel, I loved Claire. So, you intend to travel back through time and save her? Surely you wouldn't stop me. After all, haven't you wished for this yourself? I really don't like him calling Leighton Herschel. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, that's fair. It's a... It's one of those things where like... It's like one of those things where like he called a character by one name and then, oh... Nothing can excuse the kidnapping of all those scientists. Not even this, Dimitri. You disappoint me. I had hoped a rational man like yourself would understand that the ends justify the means. Listen, I've heard that phrase far too many times in another game. I don't need to fucking hear it now, Dimitri. God damn it. I don't see it that way. Then what's your next move? Turn me into the police. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. You're mistaken in thinking I came here to report you to the authorities. I'm here to stop the man who's been dragging my good name through the dirt. Ha! <laughs> That's a noble sentiment, Herschel. But you seem to have forgotten one key detail. The Towering Pagoda is my stronghold. And that means you're on my turf. I have more than enough men here to overpower you. Look here. Oh yeah, this shit right here. This 18th century relief illustrates our situation perfectly. Displays two warring factions of five troops. The stars indicate the strength of each soldier. The red troops represent you in your current situation, and the white troops are mine. It should be fairly clear who the victor will be. The white side's more powerful troops, there's no way red could win! Exactly. Your apprentice has a good head on his shoulders, Herschel. I think it's a touch premature to praise him in this case, Dimitri. I don't see why our troops need to lose, provided the battles are fought one on one. It sounds to me as if you simply don't wish to admit defeat. If you think victory is possible, prove it. Each soldier will engage in one. Each soldier will engage one soldier from the other side in combat. Pair each of your red troops against one of the opposing white troops. Your troops are marked with an icon depicting Professor Layton. The strength of each soldier is represented by a number of stars on his banner. A range of forces at the red side avoids defeat. Okie dokie. Well. Yeah. Let's get the old. Let's get the old back worked in. Okay. Hmm. Oh, ah, oh, fuck, no. Where my, where'd that go? It's up here, okay. Down there, I mean. Uh, mm. uh, one, 
with the repair. Pair each of your red troops against one of the opposing white troops. Your troops are a ma match of flying. Strength of each soldier represented by a number of stars on the banner. Okay. So that the red side avoids defeat. Okay. Well, it doesn't say we have to have a completely flawless victory. Uh, hmm. So... I mean, if we keep the if we keep this one here, and you beat that one, and well, one of them is still one of them still sticks around, I I, I guess. Yeah. Ha! Arrange your troops like that, and vi my victory is assured. Mm, okay then. Mm. Well, maybe we'll have two of them. Two of them. There. Each side wins two fights, two loses two fights, and ties one. It's a perfect draw. Yep, there we go. Of course! But the red side lacks something troop strength they can make up for with strategy. I find myself once again impressed by your logic. Very nicely done, Herschel. Give it up, Dimitri! <laughs> Give it up? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just getting started. Is that? Oh. oh fuck! The prime minister. Yeah, now you, you you can have him. You can keep him. As you can see, <laughs> my hostage here is something of a big shot. So I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. You're a monster. Hmm. Oh, you just had that there the whole time as well. Okay, you could have done that at any point. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Prime Minister Bill Hawks, who was unaccounted for after the accident at the Time Machine presentation, was escorted by Professor Layton in the future London. He's abducted by Dimitri and is now being held prisoner. Will the heroes be able to rescue him? Oh no! We're trapped! I quite like the... I quite like how they just put the four PNG bars in front of the sprites to illustrate them being captured. <laughs> hmm. I hate to disappoint you. But it seems you've failed to ensnare the genuine article. Aw, oh, shit! Huh? Professor? How did you get there? There's another one! Ah, oh, there's too many of them! Just what is going on here? Why are there two of you? Well, technically, if you count yourself, there's three of us. <laughs> Which one is the real professor? Oh shit! <laughs> That's right, Waluigi! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was loud. <laughs> Don Paolo? If he's in here, then where's the real professor? <laughs> Layton's right there. <laughs> uh, this is I love that bit so much. <laughs> I love this bit so fucking much. It's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> Take note, Luke. A true gentleman never plays his ace in the hole until absolutely necessary. Hey, Leighton, here's an idea for you. Why don't you quit it with the lectures and get me out of here? When did the switcheroo happen? Uh, earlier Leighton was like, uh, Leighton like went on ahead without them and said he'd be back in a little bit. So I assume it, it was supposed to happen there when he was just like, yeah. Yeah, when he was like, when he was like leaving, and Flora said he waved at me and he was smiling for some reason. That was, that was weird. <laughs> they did not come back until he did. <laughs> Help us, Professor! Be patient, Luke. I just need to find a way past this lock. Alrighty, let's get that lock. Puzzle 96, first step. In order to open the cage, you need to decide which buttons to push. The rules are simple. Think of the buttons as squares. Each symbol indicates a direction, and you proceed from square to square following these directions. Star left, moon right, sun down, water up. There is one square you can start from, which allows you to pass through every square exactly once. Touch that square. Okay. Uh, hmm. 
Well, a star is left. So... And the sun is down, so... Okay, wait. Let's start from here, for example. Right, right, right. And up. Left. Up. Right. Up. Left. Left. Down. Left. Up. Right. Ah! Mmm... Wait a second, I'm being dumb. Hold on. We start from here, on the other hand. Yeah, it's all of them. Huh. Okay. Once again, just one bit off I've from, like, the actual solution, as I tend to do. Well, that's settled. Well done, apart from the last square itself, all squares form a single path leading to the last square. Once you realize this, it's easy to find the starting square. Yeah, Cat, yeah, uh, the, uh, yeah. There's a, there's, there was an anime, uh, based off of the, uh, the, uh, sort of sequel Layton game that happened after the original trilogies. I've been meaning to watch it because, like, apparently it resolves a lot of the things that aren't really addressed in the game, but I just haven't had the time to check it out myself. In the, in the, uh, in, in Catriel's game, I mean, of course, you know. I wish there was an, I wish there was, like, a full adaptation of, like, these games, but, you know. They already have the cutscenes, so I guess that's, it, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It would seem the tables have turned, Dimitri. And that's a rather delusional statement for someone with your penchant for logical thought. Look around you, in case you hadn't noticed, you're deep within the family's headquarters. And yeah, the anime is better than Catriel's game, which is, you know... It's genuinely pretty good. I need to get back to it. I need only say the word and my men will come rushing to my aid. We'll get to Catriel's game at the end of the marathon, after I do the first six games, then Leighton versus Wright, then, uh, and then we'll do Catriel. But, you know, it's like, eh. I have, we, me and Hana have a lot of problems with that game, so, we'll, again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You underestimate me, Dimitri. Do you think I'd be so naive as to set foot in your base without a plan of my own? Meaning, this building is fascinating in its complexity. I saw plenty of spots where one might conceal a trap or the like. Oh wait, chronologically latent versus- Yeah! Yeah, I know. I know chronologically it's between games two and three. But I'm still trying to decide whether I want to put it after the first six games, just as a sort of, like, way to, like, take a little bit of a... Ha to have a sort of batshit game before Catriel, or, uh, between the trilogies in order to just sort of give myself a semi-break. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I know where it's supposed to be. I was just... I just wanted to do the original trilogy in one fell swoop first. Also, it is more fun this way, yeah. <laughs> On my way up here, I set up a few diversions of my own. Call for your henchmen if you like. I imagine most of them will have their hands full for a few more minutes at least. <laughs> clever, Herschel. Very clever. Come on, boss! We got Scapa! It seems I must concede defeat for now, but this is far from over. I look forward to seeing you when our paths cross next. Drat! I must fetch than I thought. There's no chance of us catching them. Oh no. What's wrong? All this commotion allowed Dimitri and his men to grab the Prime Minister and take him with them. Oh shit. And we didn't do anything to stop him. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Dimitri's activated an alarm. This place will be flowing with family thugs before long. There's a distinct possibility that we may have to fight our way out of the towering pagoda. Didn't you take care of Dimitri's henchmen on the way in, Professor? Not quite, I'm afraid. The few diversions I managed to set up will only last a few more minutes. The path we took on the way is almost certainly swarming with family now. Our only hope is to find some sort of emergency escape route. Dimitri is a prudent man. He may have one hidden somewhere in this room. We must search this place thoroughly. Okay, uh, the clock! It's dusty. Ooh! Good luck! You found a hidden puzzle. That's not a- that's not an escape route, though! That's not an escape route! Layton! <laughs> but the puzzle... Ah. 
Here are two scoreboards made up of panels. Touching a panel reverses its color. Both scoreboards currently display 58, but by, by, by touching just one panel each, Leighton and Luke can create two new numbers. The difference between these numbers is 39. Try to work out which panels they touch and which new numbers they make. Enter your answer as two two-digit numbers. Okay. Uh... Dang it, I can't click on the, I can't click on the things and make them, ugh, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Ah, fine. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just blot it out myself. So, like, if we do like that, and we, we can, we can, we, bl we can blot out one each, apparently. By touching just one panel each, I mean. Hmm. What's 58 plus 39? Just, 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 just if I can, just, just, just for me to know. 97. Well, I don't think I can get that. Wait! Wait. I was onto something there with this, though. If we do 59 plus 39, it's 98. And we can, boop, boop, scooby boop There. Okay, so it would be, so the answer would be that. There we go, now can we get out of here, Layton? Please. Please, come on. We, we, we can't just, we can't just dawdle around all day. I mean, we can, but I'd rather we don't. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes, Layton, the puzzles, but the escape! Oh, hey. Aha, there's a trap door here. And my hunch was right. Looks like as if we found a way out of here. Oof! I must have built this stairwell for men less, uh, <clears throat> buff and muscular than me. There's more than one path. Which way do we go, Leighton? Look, there's a map here that charts out the network of tunnels below us. Let me see. My, this is a bit of a tangled mess, isn't it? Are you that much larger? <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> I don't know. In this dark maze of tunnels, you can't turn unless you hit a wall. Starting at the red dot and following this rule, you need to ex reach the exit without taking the same path twice or running into any dead ends. Which route do you take? Draw a line to plan your escape. Is your hair made out of fucking wood? <laughs> Jesus. You can't turn unless you hit a wall. Okay. Well. So if we went like this, we would be able to turn like that, 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 that, that. Wait, hold on a fucking second. Wait, no, I didn't mean to do it immediately. <laughs> uh, I don't know who Alfendi is. Is that from? Uh, is that from one of the uh, other mobile games that I didn't get to? Just as speaking of which, I'm probably not going to do the other mobile game. I don't. I don't actually know if that's still around. <laughs> is that still? Is that still there? Leighton brother. I have not heard much of that one actually. Hardly knew that. I only knew that one existed by name. Let me actually see if that's still in the app store. I'm, I am, I am very curious at the very least. Oh, so it is. I may have to check that out at some point. Not on stream, but at some point. Okay, interesting. The passages below are too, the passages below are too narrow for all of us to move through at the same time. If we want to get out of here quickly, we need to split up into two groups. I don't like it, but it seems we've no choice. Now, who should I take with me? You always get to be the gentleman. This time, I want to escort the young lady. Uh, no, last time you were with the lady, you, uh, you, uh, snatched her and took her identity, so no thanks. Sorry, but I'd prefer you to come with me, Don Paolo. Very well, then. Flora and I will go together. Luke, you go with the professor and help him keep an eye on Don Paolo. Trade with me, little Luke. I want to be in the professor's group. We'll see each other soon enough, Flora. Go with Big Luke, and we'll meet back at the hotel. Alright, the groups are set. Let's get moving. Ow! What did I run into? Now let me guess, a wall? Let's see. This might actually be a door. Yes, it is! There's a handle here! Whew! Great! Now where are we? We're at the bottom of an emergency stairwell. 
There should be a way out of the building here somewhere. Hmm, maybe the fucking door. <laughs> this door should take us outside. Well, look at that! We've made it out! The family is bound to have some thugs in the vicinity. We need to put some distance between us and the pagoda. Yeah, let's let's get the fuck out. I still don't oh. understand why Don Paolo's here. Can someone please explain that to me? Yeah, I, <laughs> I suppose that doesn't explain. I mean, it's all fine and dandy. We know he's the big disguise guy or whatever. But like, yeah, why is he here in the future? Always with the questions. Won't you put a lid on it for a few minutes, you brat? All right, good night, Hana. We're probably gonna wrap up in a little bit, uh, anyway, when the next chapter hits. Apparently 51 Puzzle Route Rights changed for a Switch release. Uh, I've only actually played the mobile version of Mystery Journey. Uh, so I'm probably going to get, I'm probably gonna buy the Switch version for streaming purposes, since that would be easier to stream, most likely. I most certainly will not. Uh, honestly, you two, would you please stop bickering? You're on the same side. And while I'm getting things off my chest, why the heck did I have to play the decoy who gets caught? Hey, that's fair, Hana. If you need to sleep, then sleep. The, the, as always, the VOD will be there for you in the morning. Or Come afternoon, now, Paul, depending on when I get it up. Bad. Your role was certainly the more exciting one. Paul. Professor, you still haven't explained what's going on. London Life, like the the mini game in uh, Last Spectre, right? Huh. I didn't know that. That's uh, that's that's a bit odd, huh? I knew we'd be monitored from the moment didn't we the, stepped foot. I need to check. Ago. Didn't the European version release later? That's. If so, then I don't get why they would. I need to. I need to. I need to. I need to double check things. Because something's not really... Okay. Yeah, the European version released later than the Japanese and North American versions, and yet they just cut that. Huh. Weird. So I wanted to make sure we had at least one trick up our collective sleeve. That's... Huh. That is weird. Don Paolo, master of deception and disguise, seemed like the perfect man to employ for the task. Okay. You two are friends! That's the first I've heard of this. Ha! Don't get it confused, kid. I'm no friend of his. Ah, uh, they just cut a bunch of... Ah. Uh, I guess that makes sense, but yeah, it still kind of sucks. We both want answers to the same questions. So we decided to work together. That's all. When did this start? Tell me, Luke, when we visited Dr. Schrader, did anything he said strike you as strange? Hmm. Um, no, not really. It was his greeting that made me suspicious. Huh? Who's that? Oh, it's you, Herschel, and little Luke. Yeah, I remember. But what of it? He didn't seem terribly surprised to see little Luke, did he? Of course. In the future, I'm not a kid anymore. But the doctor didn't even notice. Hmm. Precisely. That means Dr. Schrader was... Don Paolo in disguise, yes. So ah. you knew he was a fake before he even said four sentences. Wow. Good All of that brain under that hat. <laughs> that planted the seed of doubt, though I didn't confirm my suspicion until much later. Did Don Paolo pose as anyone else? Yes. He did a bit of spying on us as Dean Del Mono when we met him last. From the moment I laid eyes on him, it was obvious we were dealing with an imposter. God, I really should have just kept that sound bite on my board, huh? Amazing! How did you know? His white hair gave it away. 
But white hair seems perfectly natural on a man his age. Not if he wears a wig. He let me in on his secret some time ago. He's been bald for ages. Don Paolo mistakenly selected a white wig to show how much Dean Delmona had aged. Wow. Nice work there, Professor. Damn. Shortly after that, I confronted Don Paolo and had him tell me everything. It seems Dimitri had been paying him quite handsomely to make sure we headed toward the pagoda. Mm. I filled Don Paolo in on all the strange happenings we've witnessed here. And then I requested his assistance in solving this mystery. Well, that all makes sense, I suppose. But the part I still don't get is why Don Paolo decided he wanted to help us. After all, this is the man who tried to run us over with a Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah, this is the guy who Yeah, let, let's not let's not forget. Let's not forgive and forget. That's none of your business, brat. <laughs> hey, call me a brat again and just see what happens. It was Claire, Luke. It all had to do with Claire. The woman Dimitri was talking about. Claire was my girlfriend back when I was just starting my academic career. She was a researcher who worked in the same laboratory as Dimitri. So she... Yes. The last time I saw her, she was on her way to the lab the day of that massive explosion. The oddest thing is that the accident received very little media coverage. It's clear someone with a lot of influence was suppressing information about the incident. I did everything I could to research the matter on my own. My efforts were largely fruitless. I had no idea. It's likely that Dimitri feels he is to blame for Claire's death. His obsession with going back in time seems like a twisted version of atonement. What a terribly sad story. But what does it have to do with Don Paolo? Yeah, where does he fit into this? <laughs> well, Luke, as it turns out, Dimitri and I weren't the only ones with strong feelings for Claire. Oh, right. What? I remember this now. What? Don't act so surprised. I have feelings too, you know. <laughs> I forgot about this. I Thanks almost forgot about this cutscene. Oh, <laughs> no. It's my pleasure. Here, this is for you. What is it? <laughs> A letter, of course. Read it at home. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me what it says? I'm right here, after all. <laughs> oh, Why? so fucking distraught. Difficult. <laughs> what I want to say is, well, in short, this. He's so loud, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever just... <laughs> you ever just... <laughs> Do you all hear something? <laughs> no, literally, literally, he's just like, You all hear something? <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking... What a fucking dork. Leighton has been my arch nemesis ever since that fateful day. <laughs> so, yes, um, the entire reason Don Paolo is being a, uh, being a fucking bastard to Leighton is over this petty love bullshit. Keep this in mind. I'd like to compare this to uh, the uh, villain of the prequel trilogies when we get to that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, that's the best cutscene in the game. <laughs> Yes, though it's worth mentioning that I had no inkling of Paul's crush until he told me himself. I didn't he hear him. Yeah, I didn't hear him university. hollering earlier. <laughs> the year above. Oh, I can imagine my surprise when I learned that Don Paolo was none other than my old classmate Paul. I had no idea you'd been through so much. Sorry for being so mean to you. 
fool. Ugh. Spare me your sappy sympathy. And my name is Don Paolo. Address me as such, boy. Boy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you put on quite the performance, uh, Don Paolo. With you distracting Dimitri, I had just enough time to do some sleuthing in the area. So that's what you were doing while we were climbing the pagoda. Did you find anything? Yes, but I need to confirm a few facts before I can connect all the dots. Then it sounds like that should be our next move. Where to, Professor? Oh, ho, ho. I'll let you ponder that for yourself. Hmm. But first, we should head back to the hotel. Flora and the other Luke are waiting for us there. All right. Oh, are we getting... Yep, okay. We're getting a safe point, so... <laughs> I think, on that note, that is a pretty good place to stop it. Next time on Professor Layton and the Unwound slash Lost Future, whichever version you want to call it. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. Next time, we will probably wrap things up, so... Thank you all for coming. Thank you for staying. Thank you for watching the show. And I will see you all next time.